my white balance is off. How'd that happen? I'm in California and I got a little bit of scuff here because I flew off a scooter and hit the pavement. This is Rocco. Rocco, Rocco composes some of the music you've seen in my videos. How's things? Hot. Hot? Hot as shit. Do you want to talk about Glue Records? What's that? And DNS. I don't know anything about that. There are additional helper records that you get that help point the way to a name server that you might not already know the address of. They're important because they're required to break circular dependencies. Like, let's say you have a domain like example.net and your name servers are ns1.example.net. Well, how are you going to resolve ns1.example.net if you can't get the name servers for example.net? So that's why the upstream DNS server, the upstream authority, tells you that it's ns1.example.net, but they also give you the glue records that tell you what the address of that is. Does that only happen when you have like subdomain names? Um, no, it happens anytime you get a, a delegation, but it's specifically necessary when you have, when, when the authority name server for a domain is a subdomain of that domain, which is almost everyone, right? So google.com is served by ns1.google.com. How are you gonna look that up if you can't resolve the authority for google.com, right? So .com tells you the addresses. And that's why sometimes when you change name servers on a domain that you own, you have to go through like a registration process or a validation process so that they, they know that they have the right, you know, A records to hand out as glue. It's like when you take Elmer's glue and you put it all over a vinyl record. Why would you do that? Uh, to ease the load on the registrars. I know it doesn't. It doesn't make any dollars either. Tom, let's get a vibe check in here. Tom, what are glue records? What are glue records? Yeah. Is that when you like put fucking wood glue on vinyl no, records that's to what clean I said. them? I said that earlier. Oh, I don't know. Do you do you store your 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 bits in wood glue? You, you like print it out on a big piece of wood yeah, yeah, and then some, you like something like that. Some yeah. Price, yeah, just like that. Like it's like it's like punch cards, but with a glue layer. Let us see. Well, what is the answer then? Hey. Hi. How are you? Doing great. How about you? Bowden. Hi. Good. Hi. Hi. How's things? Oh, very very hot. <laughs> I bet. Very, very hot. Hot as shit. So even in cases where you don't need the glue record to resolve the authority, it still helps because it reduces one less question that you need to pose to the DNS server, right? Because the next, the next operation that's going to happen is you're going to look up, you know, ns1.google.com to find out where it is so that you can ask it your pointed question. Does that make sense, Rocco? Yes. So in some cases it's an optimization, in some cases it is a necessary evil. It's not really an evil, it's a little helper, you know. It's like when you're on air traffic control and they're like, contact ground, one, one, you know, 123.5. They tell you the, the next frequency so that you don't have to take the time to look it up. I guess. Contact County Tower, 1285. Have a good day. American 132. Why do they do that? When they hand the plane off to the next air traffic controller, they, they read out the At the frequency. same airport? At anything. Like at the same airport, yeah, that happens all the time. It's like when you're flying in, you're talking to approach, and then when you're about to land, you're talking to the tower, and then once you're on the ground, you're talking to ground. <laughs> Haven't you ever heard of Kennedy Steve? Rocco, what does Wi-Fi stand for? Wireless Fidelity. Fidelity? Yeah. Like that movie High Fidelity with John Cusack? Yes. Yeah. I, like I never liked the word Wi Fi. I always preferred WLAN. WLAN? I know it means technically a different thing, but I, I, I prefer that. What are your feelings on WiMAX? Uh, that was uh, that was Sprint's cell service, wasn't it? In some areas, but it's like a standard that's used for wide area. It was like a really er early 4G. It's like a LTE. it's like a wide area Wi-Fi almost. But it was like it was like early 4G before LTE, wasn't it? It's one of those things that's marketed as 4G because it's capable of X speed, but it's not really 4G. Rocco, how does TLS work? 
question for you, not me. Well, how do you think it works? I, I don't know. What is TLS? Top level security. So it's like the best security you could ever yes. get? Yep. That's Top it. level security. How's it different from SSL? It's better. It's better. In what ways is it better? It doesn't have security issues that SSL does. I'm not wrong. I didn't say you're wrong. So, what are the kinds of things you would secure with TLS? Web traffic. <laughs> what about your d No, I secure that with condoms. Just make sure you're not susceptible to heart bleed. Yeah, that was the that was the SSL bug, wasn't it? That was an open SSL. Yeah. That wasn't in the protocol. It wasn't a cryptographic weakness. It was a mistake. Or intentional, depending on who you ask. Is that like a conspiracy theory? Uh, well, it was in use. It was being used by the uh, the NSA for things. But have they contributed to OpenSSL? I don't know. I don't know the backstory on that. You should check that out. It's not really my, uh... You run OpenSSL more than I do. Do I? Yes. Your operating system utilizes it. Mine doesn't. Mine has other security issues that came out in this month's patches. Was the, was the whole scare for that thing, was that overblown or was it valid? Uh, well, it hasn't been exploited yet, but it's pretty, uh, it's pretty significant. So you would say that it's not overblown, the hype? Uh, no, the, the hype on getting your patches applied is pretty real. How scary it is, we've yet to see. I mean, Windows 7 just ended general life cycle this last week, and already it has a security threat that has to be issued to it. Have you ever had the Sasser worm? Um, it sounds familiar, but no, I've never had it. You get it from eating uncooked pork. Oh, I thought you were talking about a computer worm. Yeah, do jackals eat uncooked pork? Oh my oh, god! No. It is a computer worm. No, I, I always cook my pork. Haven't you ever heard of the LSAS process? No. Have you ever run anything that ends with .exe? In a past life. In a past I mean, life. I still have Windows on my uh, Steam box. What do you use it for? Just games. Can you not play those games on Mac? I can, but the, the GPU I have in my Windows machine is much better. Can you not get that type of GPU on a Mac? No. Do you remember when you'd go to your dentist's office and they would have like all those paper file folders, all those records? Like well, mine, mine still has those. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. That's pretty shitty. When are you going to go in there and convert all that? Why would I do that? Convert it to PDF. I had a data entry job once and it was the worst job of my life. I'd rather work at Burger King than go back to the data entry job. It was miserable. What data were you entering? I was typing in contact information from a paperback book filled with lawyers. I was basically just digitizing a book. Just typing names and phone numbers and email addresses and addresses. Why didn't they just pay for Adobe Acrobat? I don't know. I would have just thought it made it that job. I probably didn't realize you could do that. What year was this? It was 20. Oh, there's no excuse. 2012. Unless this is like the 90s. Yeah, I don't know. I, even I, thought then. It, I mean, I asked that question to myself. Like, isn't there a better way to do this? Yeah, it's but called OCR. These days you can just ask Siri and be like, what does this say? And she'll be like, I don't know what you mean by what does this say? Here's a web search result for what does this say? You can't have Siri like pipe the output into a PDF? No. You can't even ask Siri what time zone you're in. I think it's Pacific. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not on daylight. We're on standard. I wish we were on daylight saving time. Yeah, we would save a hell of a lot more daylight. 
I just hate going to work when the sun's down like that and Matt leaving and Kim work song. when the sun's also down. I hate that. Remember that Matt and Kim song? No. Daylight? Probably heard it. Yeah. You should play it in your set. Probably could. You should DJ that song in there. That's a challenge. And it's your playlist. Do that from your watch right now. I don't have my phone with me, so my watch is pretty useless. Why well, don't I have your phone with you? Because I don't have pockets. You don't have internal pockets? No. Why not? Hey. I'm not Jasper. Jasper has a pouch. Just get like a 3M stick up. 3M command hook. Should get a fanny pack. I have one that's a rainbow. Look at all this purple shit. It's gonna get stuck to the carpet. Is that the grimace? No, it's the warm water string. I wanna see the grimace. Why aren't you purple? We're totally gonna photobomb their purple shot. Sometimes watch your videos and I'm just like, wow. And I know that guy and he's talking about like fucking DNS or some shit. What happened to my chin? I don't know, I was gonna ask that. I flew off a scooter and into the concrete. Oh, that sounds like your fault. I bet that yeah. would've been amazing to watch. It was. I'm sure. It sounds sparkly. I'll do, I'll do it again if you tape it. Oh, that stuff's easy. This is like you have to pull really hard. Rocket, tell me about Saran Wrap. Um, I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> I don't I don't feel that I know enough on that topic to speak like an expert. You poser. Tell me what you told me yesterday about try catch block. Uh, if you write a try catch block in Objective C, Line you've already elevator? made a mistake. What? Line for elevator? Yes. Rocco? Hi, yeah. Hi. You're cutie. You are a I thought you were the grimace. Yeah, he kept saying, oh, there's a oh, there's more and more strings. Yeah, uh, you, if you're writing a try-catch block, then you've already screwed up. Why? <laughs> because that's the convention of Objective-C. It's there, but you're not supposed to use it. So how do you handle errors? Completion blocks. They have, here, they have, uh, you pass in a pointer to an uh, NS error, and then you write the error out to that pointer. So what do you have to write a function and give pass a reference to the function? A selector. A selector. Yeah. That's like a lambda. <laughs> I don't know what a lambda is. So like, how do you do your continuation block? Export movie to URL, and then the URL, and then the next parameter says completion handler, and then that oh, opens it. Right. Okay. But well, you can just put the block right in there. Yes. Oh, okay, you don't have to define it elsewhere. Yeah, you just do. Uh, so that's like a closure. It's like a closure. So, so, so if you have a local variable in the scope, and you, can you use it inside that block? Um, if you put underscore underscore block in front of the variable name. What? You can access it no matter what. If you want to mutate it, you have to put underscore underscore block before the variable. You hear this fucking janky name. shit? You gotta put hey, under, man, underscore, I don't make the underscore. I don't make the rules. Is that in the documentation? It yes, it is a it is an official Objective C keyword. Okay, so that that pulls. You don't have to use it if you're just going to read the variable, but if you want to mutate it from inside the block, okay. then you have to put the. And if you don't put that, it won't, it won't compile. It, yeah, it won't let you. Okay, so then why doesn't it just put it on its own if it knows when you need it, when you don't? What happens if you delete? Do you do you explicitly delete objects on the heap? You mean like release them? Yeah. Not in uh, Arc. Or most of our codes moved over to Arc. So when does it get released? Um, well, the system keeps track of how many references there are to it. So as soon as there's zero references to it, then it gets released. So there's a garbage collector. There's not garbage collection. In how fact, is that not garbage collection? In fact, there's a first, reference in fact, count. In all the documentation about Arc, the very first thing they say is Arc is not garbage collection. Okay. It's not an active process that goes through the memory and finds stuff with no reference. It actively counts the references for you. And as soon as the reference count hits zero, then it's released. That's garbage but collection. Not, it's not you, garbage are collection. You, are you releasing it yourself? No. But it's not garbage. It's garbage Why is it not garbage collection? Garbage collection is an active process. It's not a flamethrower. It's an active process. Elon Musk it scans not your a memory. flamethrower. Arc is not that. Arc just okay. keeps a table. So it's, it's a kludge. What? It's a kludge. No. It's something they added yeah, after the fact. Objective C had garbage collection for like a year. And yeah. It was so bad that they actually took it out. Okay. I, I concede to how bad that language is. My
Let me know when we hit 12, because I can't look up that high. Mm-hmm. Uh, five. That's me. Five. Oh, well, on first. Oh. Oh. Yeah. You're on first. You're on first. Okay, then you need to run to it. Your mom's on first. Whoa! 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 Wh